Uh, how do I spell that? My name? Uh, that's Danny. That's D for duck. Duck. Quack. Duck. Yeah. Hi there, Danny from Britsent here. Sometimes when you're talking on the phone, it can be quite difficult to get across things like names, email addresses, or house addresses. So today, we're going to teach you what's called the NATO alphabet to help you the next time you're talking on the phone. So how would you use the NATO alphabet in real life? It's important to remember that when you say the code words, you should have the word for in between. For instance, A for alpha. So when you're saying a name on the phone, if you say a common name like Tom, it could be easy for them to understand. But if you use a more complicated name, maybe a name that they don't know how to spell, that is when you should use the NATO alphabet. So Jihyun, for instance. We would say, the name is Jihyun, that is, J for Juliet, I for India, H for Hotel, Y for Yankee, E for Echo, O for Oscar, and N for November. So let's look at another example of when you would use the NATO alphabet. Maybe you're on the phone and you need to tell someone your postcode. For example, N115PG. That's not a real postcode, by the way. So, on the phone, you would say, my postcode is N115PG, that's N for November, 1, 1, 5, P for Papa, G for Golf. So you'll notice when I spelt out the postcode, I said 1, 5, not 15. That's because saying 15 on the phone, people might not understand. It's very similar sounding to 50. So be careful and say 1-5 instead. Finally, let's look at how to give someone your email address. Remember, you won't normally need to spell out the domain name, as the person you're talking to will probably be familiar with them, such as Hotmail, Yahoo or Gmail. So let's say my email address is mbpd at britsent.com. That would be M for Mike, B for Bravo, P for Papa, D for Delta, at britsent.com. That's all from me today. I hope that helps the next time you're speaking on the phone. If you want to further improve your English in the future, you can subscribe to us for one-to-one, -one, face to face and online learning lessons. Make sure to check out the BritScent website and look at our reviews on Trustpilot. That's all from me today. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.